I want to talk to you about castor oil and how it can help with inflammation. Castor oil can give you relief and I will show you how. So you take a castor oil pack or a cotton flannel. This is considered a castor oil pack. It's got plastic on this side so you can put a heating pad on top of it. So I'm going to put on about a teaspoon in the middle here and it will spread. So okay and I am going to do about half an hour on the skin and I like it because you can get great relief with inflammation and I'm going to do it right here because that's where the abnormal tissue growth is. So, let's just get this more comfortable. About a year ago, this right here was all brown and it was more painful. And now I'm getting more relief because of this and I can tell you what I do for anti-inflammatory so I take uh, turmeric almost every day and that can um, have anti-inflammatory and this tea called mushroom mushroom herbal tea by Tessino is really good for anti-inflammatory and it's got like a cotton bag and so you just brew it and it's really good to drink if you um, <laughs> it looks I'm trying to show you and it's spelling but um it's really good as a coffee alternative so so I'm doing this because my chiropractor I see she says that she believes that I have this skin condition and, and it's the closest diagnosis I've been able to come across that is true to the symptoms. And so I haven't been diagnosed by a medical doctor yet, but I don't think... I will be diagnosed for a while because I was looking up the costs and for a neurofibromatosis test for the first kind there's three different kinds of neurofibromatosis that I could find the NF1 type of test is 999 nine hundred and ninety dollars and that would take three weeks wait and if you want it within two weeks they will charge you 25 percent more and the type 2 is the same 990 dollars for that blood test the third type is a image test and to see if you have tumors I could not find a blood test for that one but 
So there's definitely costs. It's like one of the most more expensive blood tests to take. Plus the hiring of a specialist would be a neurologist or a dermatologist because you would want someone that's special specialty in neurofibromatosis to see what if they actually know what to look for. So I don't know if when you go in to see a neurologist or a dermatologist if they would be experienced in this specialty. I think the best way to go about it is to ask them questions before, like send them an email or get their contact to see if they actually have experience with that. And I only say that because when I went in to see a medical doctor for this, my medical doctor would say, I don't know what I'm looking at. That's what they told me. Um, the first med medical doctor told me, I have no idea how to help you. I will subscribe a muscle relaxant for you, which I took for a bit. And then the second time I went in to see a medical doctor, she said, I don't know how to help you. And she actually was explaining to me about muscle anatomy and she was trying to figure out, like, I, she basically told me I can't help you. And it was just a lot of money for no answers. So that's why I say that if I go see a doctor, I will ask these questions beforehand because I don't want to pay for something for no answers. So I also found that if you want to see a doctor in this specialty of neurofibromatosis, they have a website called Neurofibromatosis Network, nfnetwork.org, and then you find your state and it will pull up the doctors closest to you and if they don't find anyone closest to you then it says contact us or email us so that's what I I think then that would be a really good starting point because then you could see a doctor in that field that has experience closest to you so you, you kind of have a head start right <laughs> that's what I want to say is if you're looking for someone and you don't want to keep seeing doctors and doctors and doctors you know then you could just find someone right away I suppose okay so I want to say what I also found out with neurofibromatosis treatment is that they diagnose it by observation chemotherapy, um, that's how they treat it, radiation therapy, uh, surgery because people get tumors with NF, um, and it says no processed foods and sugary drinks, which it's like so hard to stay away from that. Yeah, <laughs> me, that's me. <laughs> but, um, so the difference with um, NF1 is that that one usually starts like at birth to 10 is usually when it's diagnosed and NF2, neurofibromatosis 2, that's diagnosed usually around the age of 20 and that has vision, vision changes, hearing changes, muscle weakness, paralysis, and, and F3 is usually around the ages of 25 to 30. And these are just like generalities, okay? And F3 is usually, is also called schwannomatosis. And they 
diagnosis by imaging. Um, they look for nerve tumors, facial paralysis, and so all of these NF1, NF2, NF3 is connected with tumor growth, which is, I believe I have because there's definitely pain involved and I don't, I don't think it looks terrible, but like underneath the skin is like really swollen and growth and um, it feels like balls that are getting bigger and that's why I believe I have it. That's why I'm treating it like I have it. So, the thing is, um, when it comes to the point also with removing tumors, if it is a tumor, it's considered an elective cosmetic surgery. So that means that most likely you'll be paying out of pocket for it, which is crazy because you would think that it's considered priority surgery or priority and it's not cosmetic. I don't see why it would be a cosmetic, but anyways, basically insurance would not pay for it because that's if it's considered cosmetic, right? Anyways, um, I've had surgery and they said it was cosmetic, so they didn't want to pay for it. So that's why I'm saying it's crazy. It's, it's insane. I don't understand how insurance works. Um, so that is one of my longest videos. If you have any questions about NF, let me know. And if you are looking for ways to bring down the pain, let me know because that's, I do like, to, I do enjoy learning that um, because if we form a community together with anti-inflammatory discussion, I think we all get better. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.